expenses for the roadshow actually came when we were looking at some of the terrible accidents across the country in universities where students were either severely injured or lost their lives and we thought we haven't had this happen at PNL, but we don't ever want it to happen. I think interns before were, were kind of stuck in a room, they took their lab level training with safety, security, and all of these different things for, you know, sometimes four hours at a shot, which they still have to do some of that, but now that the road shows um, are in place, it's more of that institutional um, reinforcement of what they've learned in training, what their mentors are telling them, and then also you've got that institutional piece and, and people who are actually out there doing these jobs who are reinforcing that message that this is the way the lab operates as a whole. It's not just pieces and parts, but this is the way we do our business. and they really um, made an impression on me is that number one, um, PNNL is really committed to safety and number two, that they're really committed to sustainability and um, protecting the environment um, and really kind of practicing what they preach and that they do all of this research about sustainability but they also practice sustainability which is really cool. And you know, it's not just at PNNL but they also give advice about, you know, at home, how can you be more sustainable, which I think is really cool. Uh, the impression I got that is that PNNL values safety, and they want to make sure everybody, and not just in, say, the laboratory setting, but regardless if you're an engineer, a business intern, communications intern, or whatever, they like to know that you're safe. So they go above and beyond to make sure everybody is aware and they know what the do's and don'ts are. And it keeps everybody safe, and with the pizza, it makes everybody have a fun time. So I believe they do a really good job in letting everybody know that we have a high expectation for our safety culture. It's also very good as a venue for the staff member to understand how much their student knows or doesn't know about a safety culture, like what we're looking at here. Because universities are vastly different than a national lab system like what we have, and as far as industry goes as well. This gives them the mentor an opportunity to actually understand a little bit more about their student that they probably wouldn't find out about on a regular day-to-day -day interaction. It seems to be very popular with the students and with the mentors, and uh, it's a great forum for people to interact and get to know to each other. And we even had one benefit that we hadn't anticipated, that a lot of the students found that it was a great way to network with other students that they otherwise would not have met. There's a lot that go to the local WSU branch campus, just down the road, and I've noticed everybody that was in one of my math classes, they were there as well. And it was nice to see that they were also interning and getting experience to apply towards their profession. I think getting to talk to um, some of the other people in different fields. It's really cool, all of the different projects that people are put on. I saw the same group of these four guys at every road show, and it was really great to see them because every time they would come to my table, they'd say, hey, Amy, how are you? And they'd have a different question for me because, you know, a couple weeks had gone on, you know, since they'd been at the last road show, they'd been on the job a little longer, had some more questions, and then the year before that, I've, I've started seeing some students come back year after year, and, and they re start recognizing you, you recognize them, you ask how they're doing, what they're doing, um, you know, they're excited to tell you that they're close to graduation and all of these things that are going on with them, which is really kind of cool to form those personal relationships with them. I guess one big hope I would have is that some of the things that they learn here at PNNL through the Roadshow and other venues, they would take back to their universities and that is kind of an outreach for us, promoting operational excellence in other places. So it, it lengthens the reach of our cultural message.